In this video clip, we'll give you an overview of which of these concepts are covered in which study units, as well as how to use your study material effectively. In study unit one, you will receive an overview of the financial system as we have explained it here. In study unit two, we will tell you more about the banks and their functions within the financial system. In study unit three, we'll explain the remaining financial institutions and their functions within the financial system. In study unit four, we will explain the calculations and how they relate to the financial instruments that are traded within the money market and the bonds market. And in study unit five, we will define all of these markets and explain to you which financial instruments are traded within them as well as their function within the financial system. To use your study material, you should refer to your tutorial letter 101, where you will receive a study program. If you follow the study program, you should be able to cover this course two times before your exam, which will give you adequate preparation for the exam. Before studying, we suggest that you refer to your study guide, where you will find which study units to study within your textbook in the grey study section. And we also suggest that you create a summary of the study units as you work through it. At the end of the study units, we suggest that you go through all the activities to make sure that you have mastered your study material adequately. We look forward to working with, with you in this program and we hope that you enjoy this course.